This is the tenth video in the series titled, Scientists Are Stupid. Scientists are stupid. Scientists will either overlook, they will refuse to accept, or they will refuse to even consider the most obvious and common sense things. Many scientists feel they should not bother talking to anyone who is not a scientist, nor should they bother considering any idea that does not originate with a scientist. Everyone has the right to do what they want. If scientists want to be stupid, that is their choice to make. Except for one problem. The job of the scientist is the public good. According to the creator of this video, the stupidity of scientists is so great that it poses a danger to the public good. This series of videos is dedicated to correcting the stupidity that scientists have told the public to believe. Hopefully, the embarrassment scientists might feel at their stupidity being corrected in front of the entire world will motivate them to open their minds and perhaps motivate them to be more willing to listen to people and ideas they would normally refuse to listen to. With that introduction, the subject of this video can begin. This video is about the claim masturbation will make the palms of the hands sweaty. Modern scientists reject that claim as urban folklore or an old wives tale that has no basis in reality. But then scientists are stupid, so what else would you expect them to say? According to Happy Theory, masturbation will make the palms of the hand sweaty. The appearance and amount of sweat in the palms is directly related to the amount of masturbation the individual engages in. If the individual masturbates infrequently for short periods of time, they will most likely not produce sweat in the palms of their hands. Sweaty palms are usually the result of frequent bouts of masturbation, masturbation for long periods of time, or a combination of frequent bouts of masturbation for long periods of time. The dominant factor governing the appearance and amount of sweat in the palms is the amount of force applied to the arm and hand to perform masturbation. According to Happy Theory, that is because the force applied to the arm and hand to perform masturbation comes from the heart. In other words, the human body behaves as if it is the heart that is clenching the muscles of the arm and hand to perform masturbation. This picture shows a stylized heart. Two arms are then added to the picture. According to Happy Theory, the heart behaves as if the right arm is connected to the left side of the heart, and the left arm is connected to the right side of the heart. Any force that is applied by the heart to the arm and hand must also be experienced by the heart because of the laws of physics. According to the laws of physics, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. That means if the right hand is used to perform masturbation, the left side of the heart will experience the exact same amount of clenching or contracting force that the masturbating right arm and hand are experiencing. If the left hand is used to perform masturbation, the right side of the heart will experience the exact same amount of clenching force that the masturbating left arm and hand are experiencing. Subjecting either side of the heart to the same contracting force experienced by a masturbating arm and hand will produce the same reactions in the heart that it does in the arm and hand. The side of the heart connected to the masturbating arm and hand will tense up and become more difficult to move, just like the masturbating arm and hand tense up and become more difficult to move during masturbation. Some viewers might be making connections between what has just been said and well-known facts about heart attacks. It is a well-known fact that victims of heart attacks will commonly complain about pain, numbness, and sensations of cold on the left side of the body. Those well-known heart attack symptoms support the claim of this video that the human body behaves as if the left side of the heart is connected to the right arm and hand. Because the majority of people are right-handed and would therefore masturbate with the right hand, the majority of people reporting heart attack symptoms should report them on the left side of the body as is the case in real life. Proving masturbation causes the palms to become sweaty is so easy that the only possible reason scientists could have for claiming masturbation does not make the palms sweaty is that scientists are stupid, really stupid. Every year there is a convention held on the subject of masturbation. One of the events at the convention is a contest to see who can masturbate for the longest amount of time. All those stupid scientists have to do to prove once and for all whether or not masturbation does or does not make the palms sweaty is to go to the masturbation contest 
and touch the palms of each contestant as they drop out of the contest. According to Happy Theory, the scientist will find that among the contestants who drop out early, some very small percentage of the contestants might have slightly sweaty palms. A few hours into the contest, though, the scientists are going to see a surge in the number of people who have sweaty palms, and of that number, a significant percentage will have very sweaty palms. There is no excuse for scientists not to perform this experiment. All they have to do is go to the masturbation contest with a pencil, a piece of paper to record their results on, and a finger to test the palms of each masturbation contestant as they drop out of the contest. The scientists might also want to take a box of tissues to dry their fingers on after each test. Because scientists are stupid, they have never thought of this simple, low-cost experiment that would clear up the age-old dispute over whether or not masturbation will make the palms of the hands sweaty. And even if scientists were to view this video and see how easy it is to test whether or not masturbation makes the palms of the hands sweaty, they still won't perform the experiment. Just think about it. What would happen if scientists performed the experiment and the results showed masturbation really does make the palms of the hands sweaty? The entire world would know that scientists really are stupid. The entire world would know that some caring citizen sitting at home had to explain to supposedly intelligent scientists how to perform an experiment that would prove whether or not masturbation really does make the palms of the hands sweaty. The entire world would know that the stupidity of scientists is so great that scientists really are a danger to the health and well-being of society. That leaves the safety of society in the hands of the public. Some member of the general public needs to go to that masturbation convention and perform the previously described experiment. The people who perform the experiment might want to video everything because they and their results will be furiously attacked by ravingly stupid scientists desperate to prevent their stupidity being exposed to the world. The people that perform this experiment will become famous to the world and to history. They will have irrefutably proved masturbation does make the palms sweaty, and more importantly, they will have demonstrated how dangerous it is for society to put its trust in that group of incredibly stupid people that call themselves scientists.